So over the years doing my Christmas carvings and Christmas little craft projects, I've been using this stuff, Aline's Glitter Snow. It does get expensive. This stuff is good. It does get expensive when you start to do larger projects and you're looking to make hard snow, right? So this stuff here, super strong. So what I got here is I got some baking soda. I got some Mod Podge and some white paint. That's all you need. And some sparkles if you want. Okay, sorry, you need a little container, a spoon or a mixing thing, and possibly some water. Okay, so this Mod Podge, you get it at your crafting store or that's anything like that. It's basically a finishing coat for your projects. I, I use it on my wood carvings and stuff like that, but it's basically a glue, so I think that's why it's, um, they're it, it's mixed in this formula. Um, lots of other YouTube channels do make this. They say you have to use 5% baking soda, 5% Mod Podge, and 2% this and that. That that's not true the way i the, the way i found out is just use what works for you okay so let's get started let's pour the baking soda this container has a lid because i can see once i get it all mixed up i can save it for a rainy day right save it for another day so let's get started so here we got some just regular old baking soda i pulled out of the fridge and i'm just going to pour well, I'm going to pour lots of baking soda in here. I want to fill this container up. So I got, this is my stock pile for some of the winter, right? So, sorry guys. Yeah, I'm a pig pen. I make a mess. So here's the bake, baking soda in the container. Simple as that, right? You get the Mod Podge. You pour some Mod Podge in there, okay? They say like a quarter cup of baking soda to a teaspoon of Mod Podge. So, but all I do, I got it in there. I mix this, mix it up. I should have got a bigger container because this is going to spill all over the place. So don't mind me. So you just mix it up really good. Okay. So obviously it's still really dry, the, but the drier that you make this fake snow, the more clumpy it's going to look right? But so obviously I need to put some more Mod Podge in there. And you can, you're going to, if it's still too thick. Okay, so that's like a dollar's worth of Mod Podge. So we're just over a dollar here now. Okay. I'm not going to be worried about keeping the surface clean here, all right? Let's just, this is what we do at Let Here Find You. We just get stuff done. Okay, so it's still a little clumpy. I could mix it. I could spend more time mixing it. But so let's add some water. Okay, when we're at that, we want the snow to be white. You could do white or blue, like baby blue, because um, as my friend Ben Studio on the Lake says, um, snow is kind of a blue color if you look at it. Well, guess what? See, do you know how I know this stuff works? Because I already got the baby blue mixed up. Let's see. I mixed this up like uh, three days ago. Still nice and snowy. Okay. So how about you let me get this. Uh, some of you new people to the channel. This is my arts and crafts channel. I'm no um, genius. I'm just kind of a simple simpleton dude that just likes to get shit done and have a good time. Okay. So now here's your snow. It's a little bit runny, isn't it? Wouldn't you agree? Here, let's fix the problem. Let's put some more baking soda in there. Okay. So, I can't find my silver sparkles. I got some uh, sparkles. Oh boy. I got some uh, uh, mother of pearl sparkles coming. They're more like. Um, because I'm doing lots of winter craft projects this year, like wood carvings with crafts and paintings and stuff like that, just for when the weather's really bad. See, it's still a little bit, still a little bit runny. There. So as far as the ratio goes, I don't know. Just do what works best for you. You remember you put that white paint in there, so you got to stir it up really good. I don't even think you, if you want it to be white, I don't even think you really need to. Put white paint in here because the baking soda is already white. 
this Mod Podge dries clear. Okay, so I'll finish this mixing it up, get a good mix, and then we'll put a, we'll put a little. You also, you need a, a hair dryer or a heat gun, and we'll put a couple strips down here. Okay, you can see here now we got a pretty consistent mix, like uh, soft ice cream. So let's do this now. We'll get this stick, little stirring stick. We'll put a couple thin coats of this stuff on here because. When you get your um, hair dryer or heat gun, this stuff kind of foams up. It's it, that's that's what I like about it. It it um, puffs up, so it looks pretty soft, right? So we got a couple here. Let's put a thicker one on here, and let's just put like a just like draw one on and get it really, really tight to the wood, because then this one will be able to tell how it uh, foams up a bit. Okay, so another thing too, I can't find my silly s s silver sparkles, so I got these things. They're from the dollar store, and let's just put some sparkles. I know red red sparkles don't go on snow, okay, but let's just put them on there when it's wet, and sparkly spark spark. Okay, so I got the lid on all this stuff. I got it all concealed. Now I'm set for the winter, right? I got the light blue, and I got the white, so abracadabra. Let's get the here, the heat gun and start heating this stuff up okay one thing i'll say when you're using a heat gun don't go too close to snow because you're going to burn it and then it will look like kind of pea snow like like a brownish yellowish color so just hold it off let the thing let this tool do its work and then let your stuff sit overnight and it will be hard the next day right it's going to be hard when we're done this but not it's not going to be cured properly so let's begin I'll kind of do it um, just like this. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it foaming up on on the on the camera on the screen, but I see it foaming up here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to let this sit for exactly 10 hours and we'll see how hard it is 10 hours later. Okay, it's still a little bit soft and tacky. I'm sure that's hard. Yeah, right here is super hard. That's hard, but here, because it's, it's, it's fluffier here, right? And you want your snow to look fluffy, I think. Okay, let's see if we can get it to go fluffy on the spoon here. See, see how it's looking? Fluffy? Okay, now let's do this side. See it just puff up right there? Look at that. Probably air trapped in there. Yep. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this stuff sit for exactly 10 hours and we'll see how hard it is after 10 hours. That's still kind of soft, but just like anything, like this is getting pretty hard. It's still kind of soft, but you have to let it sit and you have to let it do its thing to cure properly, right? Okay, well, I just used the heat gun a bit more. I didn't wait 10 hours. I waited like not even 10 tenths of a second, but look. This one's a little bit soft still. Okay, no, but now really, let's give it 10 hours. Okay, so I didn't want to wait around for 10 hours. It's been 10 minutes. Look. It's already hard so the longer that you let it um, cure the harder it will get okay so once again Mod Podge water based Mod Podge is water based glue basically baking soda and 
white paint or any color that you want to use. You could use red paint if you want to do red snow. This is dollar store paint. This is more expensive paint and maybe some water. And if you want to cure it quicker, your blow dryer or heat gun. Hope this helps you guys. Have fun. Carry on.